Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be ranking protein sources by their cost efficiency, ranking them with the best protein and the cheapest price. First off, we have ground beef. Now this is actually a pretty solid one. I'm putting this in the S tier. Ground beef's got a lot of nutrients in it alongside protein. But one thing about ground beef is if you buy a, you got options. There's medium, there's lean, there's extra lean, but you can siphon out the fat if you get a medium ground beef. Let's say it's on sale. So you kind of have like three more chances for it to be on sale. And then you can always shop around different stores. So I think ground beef is one of the best protein sources for its overall cost. It keeps you feeling full and just overall quality. Next, we got chicken breast. Depends where you live. I love chicken breast, but it can be a bit more expensive. Um, so it's not like the highest. I'd probably put a B tier. Like chicken breast is my like one of my favorite protein sources. I just want to make that very clear. But it does cost a bit more than other protein sources. So yeah, it's going in the B tier. I might revisit and move it to A tier. Next, we got chickpeas, which they're good pro, like decent protein source, but um, the amount of them you need to get to get a lot of protein, I'm putting that in probably F tier. Um, I like them though; they're pretty good. Eh, maybe C tier. We'll re we'll revisit these two. Next, we got fish. This one's got a top hat. I want to put fish in the A tier because there's many different types of fish. There's usually a sale on one type of them, so it's quality. I might even put that S tier. Yeah, fish. <laughs> Fish isn't everyone's favorite, so sometimes it goes on really great sales and uh, very, very lean. It's kind of like chicken, but with some omega-3s. And yeah, fish is usually fairly cheap. So next we got cottage cheese. Cottage cheese per amount of protein, it's like better than chickpeas, but not absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to put in this cottage cheese tier, C tier. Chicken legs are next. I'm going to say this is non-breaded chicken legs or maybe... Maybe this is like fried chicken because I see there is another chicken one there. Um, yeah, I'll put that in C tier because it's fried chicken doesn't have a lot of protein compared to fat. So, yeah, it's not. It could probably even go. Hard to say. I'll put it in C tier. Eggs. <laughs> F tier now. See, during the making of this video, eggs prices are kind of expensive, but it is going down. So I'm going to put it. Maybe in the B tier. <laughs> it's hard to say how the egg prices will end up finally, but they have come down quite a bit. So, yeah, they're pretty decent for what it's worth. Next, we got lentils. Uh, lentils are honestly pretty good for the protein compared to the price. They're very cheap. You can bag them for like $3 and they have a ton of protein. Um, so I'm going to put that up in the A tier. It's not my favorite protein source, um, but it's pretty good for the price. Milk. Now... This is something that normal milk, no, but there is a lot of those uh, high protein milks nowadays. I drink a lot of that. 18 grams of protein per cup. Yeah, that's good protein. So I'm going to put that in the B tier, but normal milk, no, I wouldn't put it there. Probably somewhere around there. Next, we got peanut butter. This is not protein. I don't know why a lot of people think peanut butter is a protein source, but it's not. So F tier. Shrimp. It's pretty decent. I'll put that in the A tier. Like you can get shrimp relatively cheap, and it's a good tasting protein source. Uh, if you got a good little low calorie sauce, I like spicy stuff with it. It can be pretty pretty decent. So I'm gonna yeah, put that in the A tier. Protein powder. Now not gold standard way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that protein powder is actually pretty decent for cost efficiency because you can buy like I used to buy off like my protein or Canada protein these big bags of protein that are like like 10 20 kilos and at that point you're getting a pretty good price per protein and it ends up being relatively cheap so protein from like popular brands no it's expensive but if you can find the right source it can be cheap corn 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 these are plant-based proteins and they're okay i'd probably just put them roughly better than fried chicken like it's hard to say with uh, plant-based proteins because a lot of them don't complete have complete proteins in them. So, yeah, it's hard to say. If you're vegan, I'm sorry. Um, there are some decent ones out there, but as a whole, there's some fat ones too. I think this is a steak. It's a weird picture to use for steak, but it depends. Steak can get, like, yeah, it's, it can be kind of pricey at times. Um, it really depends. Like, I can actually get steak for cheaper than chicken breast, so I wouldn't put steak above chicken breast. It just depends on the quality of steak that you're getting. 
I don't care if I get a low quality steak or a high quality steak. I'll eat it all. So put that in the B tier. Next we got chicken legs. So this is not the fried chicken like that one. Fried ch like chicken legs are a better source of protein than actual chicken breast is. Not not a better source, but a cheaper source. Uh, the price difference between chicken legs and chicken breast is ridiculous, but the macros are still similar, but not not the same as chicken breast, but similar. Really good for bulking up. Chicken legs was kind of a when I was poor in university, this was the go-to. Next we got tofu, which maybe a little bit better than the other plant-based options, but not really fantastic. Um, and expensive. That's kind of the reason for some of these here. Because I'm ranking them based on like the amount of protein you're getting versus the cost of it. So tuna, tuna. This is kind of a classic. I'll put that right there. Um, tuna is solid. It's <laughs> I don't eat it a lot. There's mercury and you gotta watch out for it, but I know. Some people that live off of uh, tuna, so it can be very, very beneficial. This is a poorly cropped image of a turkey. I'm putting that in the S tier because turkey can be very, if it's on sale, very cheap. And it's a good quality protein. So, yeah, S tier for turkey. Next, we got breaded chicken nuggets. I'm putting that in the F tier. You will get a little bit more protein then. Peanut butter. Making me yawn because it's just such a boring option. Chicken nuggets don't really contain protein they'll have a little bit not considered a protein source whole chicken i want to put a whole chicken up there because uh kind of like turkey you can get them on sale for relatively cheap and they have a lot of protein in them so we're going to throw that up in the s tier i also like things like rotisserie chicken it's kind of like a i don't know sometimes they go on sale if you go to like walmart or superstore or any type of grocery store that carries a rotisserie chicken they usually go on sale near the end of the night so if you're a late night grocery shopper you're in luck that chicken wings, chicken wings here. I don't know if this is like a breaded chicken wing, not super high in protein and actually kind of caught kind of expensive. Yeah, I don't know. B tier, I guess. And finally, yogurt. Yogurt is a pretty solid one. You can get it relatively cheap, actually, compared to some other sources here. And it tastes good. This is talking Greek yogurt or Icelandic yogurt, also called skier, not just regular yogurt. Just want to make that clear. So there it is, cost, effic cost efficiency done on a tier list for protein sources. So if you're looking to save money and still get a good amount of protein, ground beefs, you've got, as I said, one in three op, one in three chance of getting it on sale. Sometimes they even have multiple types of beef on sale. Uh, so if you find you can't get extra lean, but there's lean on sale, you can always buy lean and get it to remove the, remove the fat with a strainer. Uh, things like fish usually have lots of sales on them as well, and they're high quality protein source. Turkey and chicken, um, kind of another thing that as you buy more, like there's bones and stuff included in this, but it ends up being cheaper than something like an actual chicken breast. Um, lentils, fantastic protein source, like very, very easy to get a lot of protein for no money at all. At least here in Canada, these are cheap. It's like $3 for like tons of protein. Uh, tuna, shrimp, protein powder, which is a weird choice. But again, I'm mentioning if you buy bulk bags of protein and not just a uh, gold standard protein. Chicken legs, it's like chicken breast, but cheaper, and Greek yogurt, and then egg, steak, chicken breast. These are some of my favorite protein sources here, but they are more expensive. But there we go. Ranking uh, protein sources based on their price and the cost efficiency surrounding that. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next video.